Hey everyone, this is Lolly. We're at Crafters Workshop. I just want to come over here where the demo is already in progress. You probably won't be able to hear well, but he's showing their watercolor powder. So there's a finer applicator nozzle that really allows only a fine amount of powder to come out of the nozzle. So use it's like really simple. You just tap, tap a little bit. And it doesn't look like there's much on there. It doesn't. And that's a cerulean blue. We'll tap a little bit of, I think next we'll put some lime green on there. And maybe a little bit of, some yellow would be pretty. That would give us a really, a really sweet analogous color palette. Some gamboge. And then I'm just gonna spritz this with water. Okay, it doesn't look like there's much on there at all, does it? No. Okay, so watch this. But I'm excited. Right? I am too. And the colors <laughs> don't look like what you said they were. I That's can what's feel really the excitement. <laughs> yes. Are you ready? You said let's put green on there. I'm like, that is not green. <laughs> oh, lovely. Look at the so different variations of green in there. Nice. They've got these beautiful, like, see how that came to life right there. It is stunning. So we can leave that as it is and dry it with the heat tool. Yep. We can also move it around with a paintbrush. Okay. And um, after it's dry, we can apply, uh, you know, like apply different mediums on top of it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of ways to make this beautiful. And you can also paint with this. And you can also like, blow that around with one of those bulb syringes, sure, right? Or a straw. Sure. So we'll dry it real quick. I can't get over that blue. It's so it's pretty. Vibrant. It's a great way to make beautiful watercolor backgrounds. Mm. If you ever feel like, so like there's too much color, I can't believe I said those words. Too much <laughs> I color. Know, I was like, <laughs> that did not come out no, of my I'm mouth. I'm just going to correct like you. We have some water back there. Now, are these available now? Yes. Okay. Add it to my list. It's called Color Sparks. Color Sparks by Ken Oliver and the Crafters Workshop. Yeah. Color Sparks by Ken Oliver and Crafters Workshop. Get right in there. I think this will be really, um, really fun. Go ahead. Is to lay a stencil down mm -hmm. and apply some stencil butter on top of that. Yeah, butter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think, you know, like, just, what do you think this oh, platinum would be, would be really pretty? Or would this marcasite be pretty? I think Ooh, that would be dark yeah, yeah, let's do that one. Let's be dark. And this is really unique. It's brand new. The butters? Yeah. I've and seen those yesterday, them demoing them yesterday. But really? Look at the sparkle on that. So on it's really like micro fine glitter. In a suspension that's uh, kind of like transparent. It's beautiful. So we'll apply some of this on top oh, of exciting. this color sparks background. I think it's going to be amazing. I haven't tried this before. I hope it's not just you. It's not going to get much done. See how easily that glides over. It really does. That's probably why it's called butter. It is. It's a consistency of of room temperature butter. Can you see that? It's making my mouth water. It's so beautiful. I love the shimmer. Yeah, the middle one, yeah. Some toast or a biscuit. There you go, there you go. Alabama. Well, that's where we're from. I guess it does say that. Yeah, I'm just giving you a hard time. I love the reveal when you do a stencil. Here we go. Oh, wow. That is awesome. And how long would you think that would take to dry if you didn't use the heat tool? It doesn't take very long. There are some external factors, like if it's really humid or, you know, but um, probably in like 20, 30 minutes. And then we could use that in our art journal. 
we could use it as a card front. There are all kinds of ways that we could use that. Okay, so then I'm seeing this. Can I ask, is this because you've heated the butter? Is that? Yes. Okay, all right. So it pops, it puffs up? Yeah. Do you want me to heat these? Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna heat that. Oh, even a corner would help, just to so you can see how this works. That's cool. The texture on there is incredible. And after this heat tool begins to warm up, the air and the bub butter expands and starts to make bubbles. It's such a beautiful color. So it does bubble a little bit or get texture. Oh, that's right. That's the white one. That's what it I see it. I see it happening right now. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, that's so neat. It's, um... It's entrancing. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, like embossing powder. Oh, yeah. That's what started my love of paper crafting all those years ago. Embossing powder? Oh, yeah. Doing it over the stove with my mom. Color sparks, oh, wow. water color powder. So you said the color sparks is available now? Yes. And the butters are? Yes. Oh, awesome. Yes and yes. And there they are, available now. And the butters are beautiful. Um, Do you know? How many colors you have in the? Uh, I think there are 15 colors of stencil butters. <laughs> it looks about that about right. I'm going to choose a little color palette here that I think will be nice. We've got some blue and some violet and some turquoise. I think we need some chartreuse, and we're just going to apply these kind of an ombre. Fashion, kind of like I was going to say, do my craft room colors and stuff. Do what? <laughs> do my craft room colors, lavender, turquoise, and pink. <laughs> That's pretty much my hair color. <laughs> lavender, turquoise, and pink? Well, no, I have no pink, but I have the teal and the... Isn't that beautiful? Oh, goodness. Look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. You have a full range of colors, too. Look at that. I was pulling your leg, but thank you for being a comedy. It's so pretty. Oh, just opening that up. Oh my goodness. Can you see how creamy it is? Yes. How creamy and dreamy and spreadable <laughs> and delicious. Yes. <laughs> and I'll, I'll and it thing. shimmers. Yes. See that shimmer? Oh my gosh. Mm. So there's <laughs> Oh, is that magic? Gonna, it's magically delicious. It is really <laughs> magical. I'm going to take just a little bit of this and just smooth it on. Very. Do you see, like, I'm not struggling with this. I'm basically letting my palette knife glide across yeah. the surface, like, kind of at a 45 degree angle. You don't have to push or mash or squeeze or it's like not like a squish or anything like that. Just let it, just let it flow on. <laughs> yeah, um, these are really 80s colors together. Uh, lab, or, uh, I'm turquoise, living in the past, I admit it. <laughs> turquoise. That was my room as a teenager. Turquoise, fuchsia, orchid. Girls just want to have fun. That's right. <laughs> Mine are more muted tones. Uh, these are, I love the vibrant. You can't, you can't back out of it now. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm in it. I'm we committed. I'm we invested. committed. <laughs> Look at that fuchsia. Oh wow. Mm. And you probably see like how easily they blend together. Yeah, but that's cool. You're pulling it down in, stri in stripes, and it looks really cool. What the rough shelf life of those might be? Do they, as long as you keep your lid on it, probably a long time, huh? You like? I don't really know. Because um, you use them up. Well, that would be that's me. true. I use them all up before they. <laughs> but all right. I Expired. use them up before they. Yeah. 
I don't really know though. I think okay, quite a while. Now watch this. this guy. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. And I love how the stencil looks like knit something knitted. Yep. I love it. Look at her. Well, I only ask because I have so many viewers that are like, oh, it's a wet medium. I don't know if I want to do that because mm -hmm. what's the shelf life? Right. So, and I'm... I know that I've had some, like, bottled yeah. for over a year. Okay, okay, that's good to know. And you can take the, the stencil. I know you're on doing demos, so you have to get those rinsed off. But you could take, like, a piece of paper, cardstock, uh -huh. smooth it over the stencil with all the... The negatives, right? Right. To pick up that yeah. onto the cardstock. You're and making you me feel guilty. Because a lot of times I do well, I'm putting um, a stencil with a lot of stuff on there. I know. And I'm like, oh, that would make a great print, but, but I just you have can't. to move on. And yeah, you're, 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 Thank you for acknowledging oh, that. Oh, it's acknowledging you. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just gotta move on. <laughs> but the playing with the butters, uh, it, it alleviates a lot of the stress you're under for having to rinse off all that goodness. <laughs> No, I'm going to heat this up a little bit, okay, and it's going to pop up a bubble like that. Oh, good. I'm just manually everything in here. Like, you're fine. Clean. You're fine. You know, from here, the heated up version looks like rip wrap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At a it sideways does. glance, it looks like rip wrap. It looks like a really metallic sweater. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. See how that bubbles up? Oh, yeah. You can see that far row there. It's, oh, yeah. oh, wow. It's like it's alive. Yeah. Oh, it's like, I love, pop, um, pop, 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 on a little stencil yeah. like this, like with little openings, it makes it look almost like jewel tone. Mm -hmm. or, or like little jewels. Mm -hmm. It does. 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 Let me come over here and, and you see that, please. It's so this like is one that's been heated. Water. I'm on the camera, go on. Mm, and when you look at better. it from an angle, it looks like rip rack, but from the side, you know, it does. So pretty. It does look like a knitted sweater. And I love how the colors just kind of blend together. Very pretty. That's really cool. Gorgeous. And the chartreuse was a really good color too. I twisted it on. I'm going to heat up the table. You really are an influencer. Long oh, I guess. <laughs> it's just a whole different look. Isn't that nice? It's gorgeous. Can I get a ooh? <laughs> Sorry. Ooh, ah. Uh, ooh, ah. Uh. Ooh, ah. Uh. Yeah, that's nice. Well, and thank you. Those colors are fantastic together. They are. When they're you're all beautiful. done, you can make a journal out of your, you know, your paper towel. I know. It's gorgeous. Now you're thank you so much. Now you feel guilty again. Look no. at a stack of papers. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for that, Ken. Thank you so much. Have a good one.